This is your home game. We're back playing Legends of the Wind Waker. Last time we defeated, uh, the, I believe his name is King Harlot, the um, giant uh, uh, Hutu knockoff. And uh, we went ahead and saved our sister, and now we are back in Hyrule. Hyrule. Hi Hoos. We're back in Hi Hoos to, uh, I guess, show Tetra where I got the Master Sword. You know, I don't know. Why not? Like, I don't know. Again, this is another long cutscene. I don't want to talk because it's kind of important. Yada, yada, yada. That kind of stuff. Like your coat, man. Where'd you order it? Can I buy it? We're cheap.
Well, see ya, Zelda. Hopefully you have fun being here by yourself, alone, for no who knows how long, unprotected, with no food, no clean water, looks like, no type of entertainment. So, yeah, Tetra, you have fun being princess. I'm gonna go to the upper world where there's food, water, stuff to do, and, you know, not just being in prison in a stone tower. Whatever. You're so nice, King. You just left her there. Trapped her and forced her destiny on her. And you don't even call her Tetra now. You're just like, yo, your name's Zelda, okay? Your name is Zelda. And she's like, but my name has been Tetra for the whole life. No, no, you are the puzzle piece to the Triforce. You are Tetra, you, like, the game Tetris. You are Zelda. I don't know what that voice impersonation was. I don't know. I hope that wasn't racially insensitive. For some reason, I get the feeling someone... For some reason, I get the feeling it could be conceived as rude. But I don't even know what it was, so what was I being rude to? Um, let's just pretend I didn't do that odd voice. This place is pretty. Too bad we'll never really get to explore. It's such a bummer. We can see Hyrule, but we never get to explore Hyrule. I mean, well, technically we sort of are just above the above it, but it's such a bummer because it's so pretty. But there's actually a couple things I want to do before we head out to go do the boring stuff. Yes, by PM, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Triforce of Courage doesn't... Out of all the Triforces... It, I don't know. For some reason, the Triforce of Courage seems like it kind of sucks the most. Like, obviously, it's pretty important since, you know, it gives your courage to do stuff. But, I mean, Triforce of Wisdom gives you such great magic. Triforce of Power makes you almost unkillable. Triforce of Courage... The... You know, I'm kind of stuck on what it gives you. Like, I guess it gives you courage, but I mean, if you're like, I don't know, a freaking two-year-old, you know, you're like, I don't know, like a weakling, and, you know, you have the Triforce of Courage, that's great, you're courageous, but, um, how much is that gonna get you? Like, sometimes courage is, I mean, I don't know, like, courage can only get you so far if you can't actually do anything. I don't know. Anyways, we're warping here because we're gonna get, this episode we're gonna get all of the upgrades for our bow and arrows. This is actually a really important upgrade. Plus, it actually makes me think a lot about the Zelda universe. See, we're coming up against a character. We're coming to a character right now that looks almost exactly, just like a, almost exactly, but a younger version of Fee from uh, uh, Skyward Sword. And it makes me wonder because Skyward Sword is the first in the Zelda timeline that we know of. And this looks almost exactly like her. I wonder if she's somehow connected to Fee by any chance. Um, including the Great Fairies because they look very similar to her. Not exactly, but they have a kind of similar feel to them with them being shiny and just floating. And this particular character looks very much like a younger Fee. Or Fi. You know what I find so funny? How people complain so much about Navi in um, Ocarina of Time. And I mean, I had no problem with her. I actually really like Navi. And then, you know, I think, you know, the person who made Zelda. Isn't that Miyamoto? He's, he's like, you know what? You know what? You know what? Fuck all of you guys. You want something annoying? I'm going to give you something so fucking annoying. You guys will love Navi. And so he created Fee. That's what happens when you guys complain about stuff that doesn't matter if you people. You complained about Navi, you didn't need to listen to her, but now you got Fee who constantly never shuts the hell up. I hope you guys are happy. Minda was still the best though. Minda will still be the best partner, I think, though, in all the Zelda universes so far. Because she's actually cool and does stuff. But I actually like Navi. Oh yeah, anyways, we got ice arrows and fire arrows. Pretty useful. We can get a couple of our pieces with the uh, fire arrows and stuff like that. What well, I like this part? Child. Oh yeah, Link's like, <laughs> oh baby. It's like, and the guy's like, don't even think about it. He's like, just keeping my options open, King. Come on, Kings used to have like what, multiple wives back then. So shut your freaking mouth. 
So yeah, um, this place you can only warp to by using the um, Ballad of the Gales, and there's no way to get out or in without it. It's very pretty. The only problem is with this place is that for oh, for a side mission involving uh, the merchant from um uh oh, crap, what is that place called? Um, Windfall. You have to um you have to warp here but you gotta warp from somewhere else anyways i'm gonna meet you by the great fairy that i want to see you by so i will see you in just a second for our first arrow upgrade all right here we are at the western fairy and um you can't get these upgrades until you get the um skull hammer so that's why you know obviously i didn't do it yet there's no other way to get them and there's nancy the mailbox but you know what i will deal with that later because we will be going to windfall a little later so I'll deal with that in a while. Anyways, yeah, so we're going to be getting our bomb upgrades, I mean our arrow upgrades, which is really nice. I actually like how we can get all of our upgrades really fast in this game. Like, you know, in, um, Wind Wit, uh, in uh, like, Twilight Princess, as well as, you know, Upgrade of Time, you kind of had to get... I mean, it, it made sense, so, you know, you couldn't just have, like, the best equipment, but you, you had to kind of... You had your, like, you know, you could get them as a young kid, and then, you know, you had to wait till you were older to get the better stuff. It's kind of interesting. I kind of like that aspect. But, actually, that kind of brings me to a point. Why the hell can't Young Link... I mean, Old Link use Young Link shit? I can kind of understand why Old Link might not be able to... I mean, Young Link might not be able to use Old Link stuff, because... Some type of time paradox or some crap? I don't know. I don't know anything about time paradox or universe theories or, you know, the multiple universes where in another dimension I'm actually cool and people like me. Um... The multi-universe, whatever. That's always been kind of an interesting theory uh, thing, but I've actually never really looked into it because I don't think I'd understand it because I'm dumb. Maybe in the other universe I'm smart. I don't know. Maybe I, in the other universe I don't have curly hair. Dear God, that's horrible. Okay, off to the next fairy island. Me without curly hair, that's just freaking terrifying. Ugh. Okay, here we are again. Um, this is the Thorned Fairy Island, which is... Across from uh, the Tower of Zelgads. Zelgato. Zelgato? Isn't, isn't Gato a cat? Anyways, I don't care. I'm not taking Spanish class. I'm going to be taking sign language class. So don't try and get me learning Spanish. Oh my gosh, I had Spanish class before. Oh my gosh, it didn't go very well. Because as you viewers know, I am so good at talking and saying words correctly. Why wouldn't I be amazing at Spanish class? No. I think all of you viewers... Va vi I can't even say viewers right. What do you think I sounded like in Spanish? Think nails on a chalkboard while a phone is being thrown at your face, okay? It is that bad. Thankfully, though, I think I'm going to be pretty good in sign language because I got pretty bony-ass fingers. And second, I don't really need to use my voice, so that's good. Plus, you know, I wanted to learn sign language because, you know my career I'm going into is with children and you know sign language is such an important skill to have and I think especially working with younger children not all children know how to talk like I myself didn't learn how to talk till I was the age of five and I spoke mo um, almost all in sign language but I don't remember any of it now though um, I don't remember any sign language but I used to I used to speak only in sign language until I learned how to speak English I used to also speak Spanish too, but I was told I needed to learn only one language because I can barely do one language right. They said you better do one that you can sort of do okay. So I was like, oh, all right. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. So yeah, I, I I like the idea of learning Spanish though. I think you know again, it's a really cool skill to have, and I I I believe sign language is. And I don't think it's as universal as Spanish because I know you can go to a lot of other countries. If I'm correct, and you, if you speak Spanish, you can do... Well, I know there's kind of different things of Spanish, like... Just because you know Spanish doesn't mean you'll be able to talk to everybody who knows Spanish. Because, you know, there's different, like... Especially if you go probably to, like, the motherlands or whatever it's called. The Spanish, the way, you know, how fast people talk. You, you know, unless you're really good at it, you won't be able to keep up. And that's just kind of one of those cool things. Anyways, um, we're going to actually do a couple things. We're going to get a heart piece, two heart pieces... Actually, I'm gonna need this, and we're gonna go ahead and also get the um, uh, the last bottle, the bottle. So what we need to do is now this girl, she was from uh the 
the place. Uh, she used to be really rich. I like her freckles. They're cute. She used to be rich, and now she's poor. She was in the Forsaken Fortress. Alright, we'll just go away. Sorry to bother you. Now, if you watch, she runs away. It's time to be sneaky. Bam, 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 in here. <laughs> I'm not here. It's actually pretty funny. If you almost get caught, um, Link will pretend to be a cat, and he'll just sit. He'll go, meow. Go, meow. Meow. Yeah, that's what a cat. That's what a cat sounds like, yo. Um, they're so good at this. I'm gonna shove my head in the wall. She won't see me here. If I only had the stone mask, this would be so much easier. That's freaking funny how no one can see Link with the stone mask, even though he's like right there in front of him. How does that even work? I don't know how it works, but I love it. All right, hide, 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 hide. If she catches you, you know it's all over. So if you're just careful, all right, very careful because this is where she can catch you kind of easily. This is where I usually almost get caught, but um, then I pretend to be a cat. Oh, wow, Link, you are really good at that. That is one convincing meow. I mean, really, that is. I don't think I've ever heard a meow that good before. That is actually pretty good. I don't think I've ever seen a cat in this game. I know there's a cat in the Zelda universe in Twilight Princess. And actually pretty cool cat too. Alright. She works at the shop now actually. If you see go to the daytime, she actually works here. Right now what we want to do is actually go up here and talk to her. Hopefully I don't mess this up because you have to actually answer a specific question. A ally, I think an ally of justice. I think we're supposed to just say the first ones over and over. Sure. Debutante in town. Yeah, I know, I saved you. Don't you remember me? You mean, yeah, if you actually go to her father, he won't give you the time of day. It's actually funny. Um, the poor man who was um, by the tree in Windfall is now the rich man and will now... And now will not give you the time of day at all. Um, so yeah, it's kind of funny. The roles are reversed. So now with that, and now she will give me... Oh, sorry, I keep on my headset. The last bottle of the game. So that's pretty cool. We have all four bottles now, so that's helpful. I, would actually, I should probably fill these up with potions. Well, I wish you luck in the future. I know you can do it, just stay, just keep doing it. And if you need a role model, I hear Rosachu is an excellent role model for young children. Um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and do the next thing I want to do first. We got to go up here. We got to go all the way up here, activate the windmill, and we're going to have to change the direction to north. 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 To north. And then, once we get the two hard pieces here, I think I'm going to end the video, just because there's a couple... I plan to do a couple more... Oh, what the hell? I plan to get the rest of the... Uh, a few other hard pieces later. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. Like, the auction hard piece I plan to get, the Salvador's game I also plan to do. Um, also, there's one with Maggie, now the richest person. Um, yeah, North. Um... Which involves letters. Uh, we do need... Um, I also need uh, 20 of the skull bracelets, I mean, uh, necklaces, we only have 18, so we need two more. So, we won't get all of the stuff done here, but we'll get a lot of it done, if not almost all of it. That will probably be the last thing we need, is maybe the, um, the, the skull necklace stuff, and maybe something from the auction. But yeah, anyway, so what we gotta do now, though, is go ahead and light the windmill. Now that the windmill is moving, we gotta go ahead and light the, um, the lantern on top with our fire, fire, our fire arrows. It can be a bit tricky, but if you aim properly, you can get it. And this guy will give us a heart piece once it's lit up. You gotta have the windmill moving and lit in. I didn't know that, so for a long time I was trying to get him to give me the eye, the heart piece, and he just wouldn't give it to me because I didn't have it, you know, lit up. So yeah. All right, steady, Link. Don't. Don't let the fact that you're burning your hands to a cinder bother you, Link Apu. And shoot! Got it! Nice! That part, of, that part of usually gives me a lot of trouble, but thankfully I got it. 
Oh gosh, I'm blind. Just like, you know, Max, uh, just like Archer, you know, when he always, you know... What is with the deal with Archer? Archer always has, like, um... He always does it, like, he always has his night vision goggles on, and then, like, some type of light hits him, and he just goes blind. Yeah, I freaking love Archer, what about it? Yeah, it's not really something I can watch with my siblings, but hell. I don't need to, well, I don't need to hang with them all the time. Yeah, I, I need to get friends. Anyways, now that we got that... Gosh, your nose is huge. Looks like a type of mushroom. Oh. Anyways, hopefully the... I don't think the wind's in the right direction, so we're not going to bother. Actually, real quick, since we're going down here, might as well go ahead and get a potion. Just for fun. Actually, do I have enough for a, a magic potion? Yes, we do. Okay, I... So anyways, um, you can get a free potion from this guy by giving him um, 15 of a jelly. And once you have that, though, he'll actually start making it. So, um, because he won't actually make it. But once you actually give it to him, he will. Oh, wait for it. Oh, here it comes. Oh, oh my gosh, this is perverted. Eureka! And uh, I like his little bee on his back shirt, though. It's kind of cool. It's time to work. Whoa, there's a ruby up there. I never noticed that. There's two rubies on the side of the walls. That's kind of crazy. Whoa. Jeepers. I wonder if that cloud changes depending on which chew jelly you give him. It's ready at last. My new chew jelly concentration. It's still piping hot. And if you want to have the first batch, my jelly conceal seal the block. I think that was German. I'm not sure. Same as we got a green potion. I usually like to carry a green potion around just, you know... In case I need some magic. La dee do. <laughs> La dee do. I'm sorry. La dee do. It's always good to have one around. Because I don't want to use my, um. My, um. My goods. My good, you know, uh, like the, um. The soup. Which heals magic and health for just magic. Even though it does have two servings in it. But I'd rather not waste it. Um, I'll check the mail later, next part, since I'm going to be dealing with the mail. And the wind is not going in the right direction at all. I don't know if you can get to this any other way. Maybe you can get on your boat and just, like, jump off and land on there. I don't actually know. I've never actually tried it that way, and I've never actually seen it that way. Um, this is the way I always do it, though, and I've this is the, this is the way I've only seen everybody else do it, so I wouldn't know. All right. Anyways, you just gotta fly over there, and even though this treasure box doesn't look very special, and you wouldn't think there'd be, like, anything special in it, but maybe, maybe a treasure chart or rubies, it actually does house a heart piece. So there we go, piece of heart. Cool. Um, but you know what, though? I'm gonna end the video here, and we'll go ahead and continue playing more Wind Waker in the- Whoa, my gosh! I did not know you could put the camera out that far. This has been your own gamble. Thank you for watching. See you next episode. We can play more Wind Waker! Okay, bye then.